All right, so here today I thought I'd talk about this as a lot of players are currently like on the fence about things here. With this character, it's again, it's I don't know what happened here with with this uh, community, right? People were begging for Chaos right there for months, and then he actually ends up releasing, and people, the players are like, "Wait a minute, I didn't want him." I'm like, what the fudge? So where I kept seeing comments every single day saying Chaos Arthur, Chaos Arthur, Chaos Arthur. He pops up. Ew, I didn't want Chaos Arthur. So, what? Uh, for this character, whatever it is, um, situationally, let's be very honest here. It's it's a, it's a hard one to kind of get to a conclusion on. So today, I'll try my best to give you the pros and cons and everything like that. If you're new to the channel here, like it, subscribe, it helps out a ton. Let's hop into it. Let me give you my thought process and how I feel about this character. Um, given I have tested him, I've used him, I've seen the other side with this character. Is he a must-have? Is he a must-skip? What, what is the answer? I'll give that to you today. Let's hop into it. So first things first, let's like go and break down the basic thing that I always break down first, that being the banner. Is the banner worth it? Because again, you're summoning with a character, but you might not get the character early. So what are you looking at? You're looking at the other characters you may pull. First off, it's Eskimo's rerun. It is his second rerun. So automatically, two great characters, right? So again, whatever it is, two great characters. Over here, you might not have LR Margaret. Yeah, consider it. You might not have 6 6 LR Margaret. Consider it. You might not have 6 Pergmeli, though again, he's kind of useless in most things now. But it's always good to have him, at least bare minimum, if you don't have him. Over here, most of you have 616 by now. You probably have. And if you didn't, I guess it's a decent dupe. This over here, he actually works on the Chaos Arthur team as a uh, side unit if you don't have a different side unit. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, bench units you can use, but, you know, it all just works. So that's another unit you can um, partake in. Over here, Dog Crap, because she's been here too many times. Nobody wants her. She's been for free way too many times. Way, uh, for free way too many times, so that's two characters we don't really care about. This is fine because you need a 6-6 this and you want this, so whatever it is, it's okay. This over here, you need a 6-6, six, six, so it's okay. These two rarely get reruns, so whatever it is, it's pretty good. Uh, this is Dog Crap, and it's been here very often, actually, very often. Uh, this is Dog Crap also because, again, most of you got it for free. If you don't have her and you didn't get her for free, it's good to at least pull one copy of, but you don't want to pull more than one copy. But again, she just came for free like a month ago, so most of us picking up the game probably have her. But if, you, if you're re-picking up the game because of Arthur only, you might not. So for what it is, it's there. But again, there is a free banner, so I'll just keep that in mind, and I think she's on here. Is she? No, she's not. Oh, wait. No, she's not. Never mind. So, never mind. <laughs> then then it's fine. Then it's fine. Beyond that, um, Roxy over here, which is good. Always good. And to 6-6 six, six is also good. Uh, this is dog crap. Even collection-wise, it's dog crap. Um, over here, what the hell happened? Uh, over here, tier is always good to have, and 6-6 six, six is fine. One copy, this is fine. 6-6 um, six, six is fine just for, like, chaos PvP mostly. Uh, can't really use her anymore, but, you know, it's good to have, I guess. Uh, over here, it's always great to have because of Nidhogg, right? You really want this. And then over here, it's just collection. Uh, not bad to have, but just collection, right? So that's where it basically stands with this banner. Basically, it's a good banner. In my uh, honest opinion, it's like 75% good. The rest is kind of mediocre because, again, you don't want that. You don't want that. Some of the fest some festivals you don't want. This you don't want. This you might have, but you so, again, you don't want it. Uh, this you kind of don't want. This is collection based, but you really don't want it, right? That's like that's kind of the entire thing there. So again, banner wise, it's not it's not half bad, right? We'll see how the next banner turns out. Um, but basically, what's next, right? So is Arthur worth it? And what's next? What's next is it's either a collaboration in March or April that has to happen. If it doesn't happen, it gets pushed back to August, and that's the only time a collaboration can pop up. Because again, in May it's a festival, and then after that it's a standard. That's how the entire thing works. So. With logic, it's either March or April a collaboration. If if the collaboration doesn't happen, then it's catastrophe and it's Ragnarok. That's it. Simple, easy. There you go. Remember one thing: this is a you are ready festival. Skipping a festival unit nowadays is absolutely committing um, arson to your account because it's just if you don't have the festival unit, the chance of pulling in the future is very hell. Uh, for example, I tried summoning this banner. I needed this character, uh, and I summoned on Liz's banner, and I didn't get him because I skipped him. Correct? Back then, I did skip him. Um, because again, I didn't actually play this time during this, uh, this account. So that's what happened. But again, I've stopped skipping festival units on my free to play. It's just, it's not a good idea, right? Um, yes. It's like, can you actually make it for every festival unit? The answer is theoretically yes. It's just, we didn't expect a collaboration to pop up. If this collaboration didn't pop up, we skip those banners. Like for example, a 600 rain rock, we can skip it. We can consider skipping it and pull it later on. But a festival, that's where it gets a little bit more of a blurry line. Is the character good? If you use human teams, you should get him. You should really get him. If you don't use human teams, you can consider skipping, right? It's the same thing. Demon King. 
do you run um, Demon King as a, as a character in any content? Do you run demons? If the answer was yes, that I run demons, you want to go for him. Again, Hell. Hell is a PvP character through and through. She didn't work in PvE because, again, she's based off debuffs. This character works. This character works flawlessly in PvE-oriented content because, again, he's not debuff-based. And it's just like Melly's passive. It's like you gain uh, basically a buff that will last for two turns, and he shreds for two turns, and then he regains the buff and shreds again. So, again, he's very powerful. Yes, I get it. People are pulling up some like things like, oh, he's going to get stomped because of this, this, this. For what he is, if you run human team, you want him. You need him. You've got to get him. Correct? If you don't even run human team in any capacity, maybe you don't want him. Half his passive is basically relegated to being a human character. Is he a PvE must have? Who knows? In the future, there might be a content that he could work on. What happens if the rat or the squirrel that releases, he might work there? What happens then? I can't help you with that. Uh, as of right now, what do I stand at? If you use humans, he's a must summon. If you would like to have him, you can summon for him. He's a pretty good summon. He is not a must summon, but he's a great character to have as he is a festival, especially a you are ready festival. He will not hit the coin shop. He will not be active again for you to get guaranteed until maybe November because, again, they sometimes allow you to pick a unit there. Uh, and then again, at that time, you have to hope and pray you pulled the festival unit that uh, displays in November, whether, you know, it be whoever, um, you have to pull that unit and then make sure to 600 or at the 900 pity pick this, correct? Because you've already got the one other, uh, other one early, right? So remember, that's how it's gone. That's how it's going to happen. That's just the basic things here. Again, I did a gem guide. I showed you all the values. Um, you can go and check out the gem guide if you need help there. And you're really considering skipping this. If you want to look at that, you're more than welcome to. What is next? Again, I told you. There's a collaboration, potentially. Who knows? Rerun. Um, there, potentially. Uh, there is a Renrock update that has to happen. It has to happen between March and April. Has to. That is a fact of the century. We don't know if it's going to be a festival. We don't know if it's a 600 banner. Could be 600 Balder. Again, you can skip Balder, right? Yes, whatever tier was, he's a great character, but... Tier's gonna come back, and you've seen how many times Tier came back. He keeps on coming back, bro. He was on, like, every banner, dude. So, remember, that's gonna happen. It's gonna become the case where, at this point, if they keep running more often collaborations, as a, as if they said four collaborations this year, potentially, with that being said, just summon for festivals and collabs. You'll make it for all of those, because, again, there's about four banners this year that you'll skip, being, you know, Rang, Rock, Catastrophe, and whatnot. So... Remember, that is a fact. As of right now, though, coming off a of collaboration, I showed you it is possible to get 900 gems. Just make sure to push content, have fun, and just get things done. What I will say right now is, though, is this character must summon. If you run human teams, you want to consider it because it's a new human character. It's a boost in CZ, and it's stronger than the other variations of human team. Again, great character to have. It's a festival. You never want to skip festivals. It's the fact of the century. But again, he's not like a game-changing end-all destruction festival where it's like, you know, Chaos Meliodas, right? He used, Or Chaos Meliodas. Uh, God Meliodas, right? He worked everywhere. He worked on Sins. He worked on this. He worked on that. He worked on this. You know what I mean? He worked everywhere. So for that character, obviously, he was a must-summon in every department. For this character, he's must-summon in some smaller areas, but I still think it's always worth to have. If you want to skip him, you're more than uh, welcome to, correct? Every year we have to skip a character. But again, in uh, two months, don't be like, dude, when is he rerunning? Because again, these characters, just like Mayel, how long did it take Mayel to rerun? It took Mayel from that date all the way until November to rerun. All the way. So again, you will not get this character until November. Be prepared for that. Uh, that is basically about seven months from now, right? Remember that. So with all those points standing, uh, with that being said, that's all I got for you. Take care, everyone. Have fun. And yeah. That's just my honest opinion. Take care. That's that's the should you summon. <laughs> that's all I got for you. It's, again, my opinion, uh, if you run humans, 10 out of 10, summon, must summon, have to do it. If you don't and you want to consider, like, hey, I don't know, whatever, it's, uh, it's an 8 out of 10 summon. It's still a festival, and it's always great to have festivals because you don't get a guaranteed chance until November. Remember that. Take care.